Hello and welcome. This is a short introduction to a new version of a survival map of FAF. The map is called Survival Fifth Dimension Center. It's been around for quite some time and this new version is called the same with EE at the end, standing for Entropy Edition. Uh, as of now, you can get it from the FAF map vault. So in the FAF client, go to vaults and then here, uh, this is the new version. You can just search for it if you want. And then when you're hosting, there is several new lobby options. So here, if you go to options and you scroll all the way down, the build time option was already there. And so were um, the difficulty and the wave frequency. Uh, the two new options here are auto reclaim, which you might be familiar with from other survival maps. Uh, if you turn it on, then units won't leave wreckages, but you will automatically get a percentage of their mass value and their energy value. Another new option is uh, built in all factions. So if you want to have all factions, you don't need to use a mod, you can just turn this on. Uh, you have two options. You can do engineers. Everybody just gets tier one engineers for all factions. And there's an option where everybody gets additional ACUs. Another thing that's new in this version is that the build time option is not partially broken. In older versions of the map, if you didn't change this one and you left it at 2.30, it would, uh, the units would spawn at zero seconds, which forced people to often rehost. There are a few more changes. One of them that's the most visual one is that the enemy units no longer use the red color. So if there is a player that's using red, uh, you will be able to easily distinguish them. What you can also see here at uh, the start of the game is there is a welcome message which tells you the version of the map and the settings of the map. So you could see that uh, things count in 150 seconds, normal wave frequency, no auto reclaim, normal difficulty. So in videos and stuff, you can see what people are actually playing with. And uh, then last but not least is that now if you build an UF engineering station, it will actually have a drone in it, which is definitely nice. And then, at 15 minutes in the game, there is a special surprise, but I'm not going to spoil that. You will have to play the map to see that. Good luck, have fun.